Horizon 2020 is the first framework program to integrate innovation. But the nature of innovation is changing. It's becoming more open, faster, more driven by the user and the citizen. As digital and physical merge, innovation is happening at the intersections and creating entirely new markets. Europe must get better at supporting and scaling up market creating innovation. This is what I would like to achieve with the European Innovation Council. Earlier this year, more than 1,000 organizations responded to a call for ideas for a European Innovation Council. The responses had a clear message. EU support should be simpler, faster and fill the gaps for market creating innovation. There were many great ideas about how to do this. Some of these ideas will feed in interim evaluation of Horizon 2020. Others will be for the next program. But I also want to move fast, so I have identified 10 changes that can be introduced within the next year. First, we have already launched a call to establish a high-level group of innovation advisors. This group will help us design the European Innovation Council. The deadline for nominations is the 27th of October, and I would encourage everyone with a passion for innovation to come forward. Second, we need a much simpler presentation of relevant support in a one-stop shop. And third, an important change will be to make the SME instrument fully bottom-up to support the most innovative ideas without forcing innovation into predefined topics. Fourth, we should adapt the evaluation criteria to target market-creating innovation, to support more risky projects. Fifth, we should introduce face-to-face -face interviews as part of the evaluation, we should focus on the people, not just the proposal. And sixth, many startups I meet say that they need support from experienced innovators. So we will complement our financial support with mentoring and coaching. Seventh, we will explore new types of support to fill the gaps, to help firms scale up and bring in private investors. Eighth, we need data and intelligence. We should know if projects succeed or fail. We should draw the lessons to improve our support or identify regulatory barriers. Ninth, we will work in stronger partnership with existing initiatives, such as the European Institute of Innovation and Technology, to avoid overlaps and make life simpler for innovators. And finally, we should improve the user interface through our website and guidance and make sure that we speak the same language as the innovators.